The Agent Visual Inspection Disclosure, also called the AVID, is required in California transactions of homes that are sold. Why is that the case? I know my seller clients have often wondered why I have to do an AVID. In 1984, there was a lawsuit regarding a home sold that had an active landslide on the property that was not disclosed to the buyers. The vast majority of lawsuits in real estate are from buyers suing due to non-disclosure. That lawsuit from 1984 is known as Easton versus Strasburger. It was a landmark case. It found not only the, that agents have a duty to disclose known facts, things we already know, but also a duty to do an inspection and disclose things to buyers that a reasonable inspection would have revealed. So we have a duty to not just see what we happen to stumble upon, but to go looking around for issues. That's two different, two different things. Some real estate agents worry about offending their seller clients if they note something that's uh, unpleasant, such as odors, sloped floors, foundations that don't look right, or any other issues. you If you're a buyer, you may have read uh, disclosure packages and noticed that sometimes the listing agents write things in their AVIDs that sound more like marketing spin rather than disclosure items. So I've sometimes seen things like uh, new light fixtures, new countertops, rather than there aren't enough outlets in the kitchen, or maybe the bathroom actually doesn't have a heat register. Home buyers may not notice these things. Home sellers might not think about these things. But we who are in and out of homes all the time, we need to go do a visual inspection disclosure and look. Uh, and it's actually not just visual. If we smell things, we sp we're supposed to note it. If we feel sloped floors, we're supposed to note it. So the marketing spin approach is really not helpful. Um, the idea is to help sellers and buyers to be aware of these issues that they may not have noticed. To view a landslide on a property, a large parcel of land, the agents must walk the property as much as possible. Obviously, if it's a very large parcel that has a very deep slope, it may be inaccessible. It might be too dangerous to try to go down a cliff, for example. Even a new construction, the AVIDs probably should not be blank. There's almost always something that could be written in. Almost always. Um, the best thing for everybody, sellers and buyers included, is if buyers know as much as possible before getting into contract to buy a home. We don't want buyers to learn things later that are a new disclosure that causes them to back out of the sale. For sellers, that might mean selling the home for less the second time. For buyers, it could mean a loss of time or frustration, or if it's not a huge issue, they may not feel if they bought the home with no contingencies that they have the option of backing out and they may just sue later. So these are not good outcomes. The best outcome for everybody is to do a full disclosure up front. And the AVID is part of that, and it is what the law requires. Thanks for listening.